You really packed everything, huh? Yeah, I think I got it all. Just a few more things to grab. Ten years, Alex. And you're just leaving? On Christmas, for Christ's sake. Jamie, you knew this was coming. Yeah, maybe I knew. But not today. Not like this. I thought, I don't know. Maybe the holidays would mean something, even now. <clears throat> it's been falling apart for a while. We both knew. But we always fought for it, Alex. Every time, we stuck through the mess. So what's different now? Look, I can't keep pretending this is working for either of us. Pretending? After everything we've been through, that's all this was? It's not that simple, and you know it. Stop making this about you. You! 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 You're selfish and self-centered, and that's why I'm leaving you. Me? Me? Selfish and self-centered? Right. Because I'm the one packing my bags on Christmas Day, walking out on ten years like it's nothing. Yeah, real self-centered of me to expect us to stand for the same thing after all this time. Guess I didn't get the memo that suddenly we're both okay with the complete opposite of everything we've built. <sighs> no, I thought I had the perfect gift for you this Christmas. Turns out, the real surprise is on me. You're being summoned. I never wanted to hurt you, Jamie. You've really been my rock. A rock? Yeah, that's fitting. Solid. Sure, but also completely emotionless. Just sitting there while everyone else kicks it around. So, thanks for that. Maybe we can still be friends? <laughs> friends? After this? I'll always have love for you, you know that. Yeah, Alex, I know. But you do realize there are different types of love, don't you? There's Eros, the romantic, fiery kind of love. That's what I feel for you. What I thought you've been feeling for me. It's passionate, all-consuming, the kind that makes you think you can take on the world together. Remember that, Alex? And then there's Agape, selfless, unconditional love. The love that keeps showing up, even when it's not getting anything back. That's what I've been giving you for a while now. What you feel for me. It's not Eris anymore, and maybe it's not even Agape. It's more like something comfortable, safe. But it's not enough for either of us anymore, is it? Jamie, I do love you. I know, Alex. Unfortunately for me, it's not the kind of love that'll make you want to stay. How'd it go? I asked you about it with my heart wide open. Listen close to every word with love unspoken. Respected your space, gave you room to breathe. Now I wonder, are we still what we believe? Check on your soul, your mind, your heart. Try to understand you right from the start. But now I'm standing here and show where I fit. Does a love like mine count, or is it dismissed? Girl. I cannot talk right now. Reggie tried to cook and damn near sent us to judgment. What's wrong, baby girl? I'm on my way. No, no, don't come. She finally did it. She finally succumbed to all the pressure. Damn, 
She left you for that man. I'm so sorry. And a cop no less. So she traded in soft kisses and scented candles for cuff keys and interrogation rooms? Love that journey for her. In a world that often demands conformity, LGBTQ individuals face unique challenges in balancing personal identity with societal expectations. Many experience what is known as minority stress, which comes from both external discrimination and internalized pressure to fit into societal and family norms. This stress can significantly impact mental health, resulting in higher rates of anxiety and depression compared to their heterosexual counterparts. One of the most challenging outcomes of this stress is the strain it places on relationships. Studies show that same-sex relationships are often as fulfilling as heterosexual ones, but the added burden of societal stigma rejection from family, religious communities, or workplace scan make maintaining those connections even more difficult. Some individuals make drastic relationship choices, such as leaving same-sex partners or pursuing heteronormative relationships, often because of confusion driven by faith, societal pressures, or the lack of LGBTQ role models. When queer individuals leave same-sex relationships for heteronormative ones, it may reflect unresolved internal struggles with identity. What's better than this? We worked at the shit while you at work. I'm at home cleaning and cooking bricks. You got those lips, make me wanna kiss, but I don't twist bricks. I'm telling you, this will reach my divinity where I exist. No need to be a man. That's not where I stand. I love you for real. It's not my plan. If they hold you back, it's out of my hands. Caught in the world with love and demands. You got your faith, it brings grace, but confusion. The rules got you tired. You feel bruised from misusing. I'm still standing proud of who I am. Handling my business, not demanding your love, but I'm still not a man. Can't you know you just say understand? I need you to love me for who I am. The tension between their authentic selves and external expectations can create significant emotional conflict. This internal battle often results in relationship breakdowns, especially when societal pressures overshadow their true desires. Research shows that LGBTQ individuals are more likely to experience relationship shifts, infidelity, or separations, driven in part by unresolved stigma and the pressures of conforming to societal expectations. Lesbian relationships, for example, have higher rates of separation compared to gay male couples, revealing how deeply gender norms and societal judgments affect relationship stability. We must continue to create safe spaces where LGBTQ individuals can love and express themselves authentically without the pressures of conforming to social norms. Only then can their relationships truly thrive. I love you for real, it's not in my plan If they hold you back, it's not in my hands Caught in the war between love and demand